So guys, I believe we're live here. Uh, we snuck in a minute earlier uh, on this video. We're normally a minute late, so <laughs> we tried real hard to make this video happen. Uh, we've added a few more features on features. <laughs> we've added a few more features on here uh, that y'all will kind of get to experience as we go along here. So we've been pr playing with the last couple days on trying to get this whole live stream thing figured out. Uh, we've got a couple different camera angles that she'll be able to, my sister will be able to switch to as we're working on this old car. If you didn't catch the last video on it, uh, this is a 1957 BMW Zeta here. Uh, we bought we bought six BMW Zetas from a gentleman. Uh, this was probably the strangest one of all of them. It's actually a bubble top, uh, a really early version of it. But someone has cut the back end of this truck off and uh, added a Volkswagen uh, rear end back here. So on the last feed here, we found out, uh, we had a few people in the chat uh, suggested that this was a top four Volkswagen engine. Uh, so it's a top four, but it's also a completely locked up, rusted up Volkswagen engine. Uh, when, we, when we dug into it, we knew it was locked up from the very beginning. We put a breaker bar on the crank there and it just did not want to budge. Uh, we tried on the live video to uh, get it to move a little bit. We put some diesel down in it, some, some different oils and this and that. Uh, ended up it just going further and further along into it. We got the heads off of it. They were just packed full of dirt and grime and rust. All the valves were rusted. Uh, the cylinders and uh, the pistons inside the jugs are just rusted up completely as well. And I'll kind of show you guys that as we go along. Uh, but we didn't obviously get it to unfreeze, more or less even try to run. Uh, me and dad stayed uh, later, uh, about two or three hours later, and what we got two, of the, two, two, jugs, two huh? jugs removed from it. So the game plan was let it sit there, uh, let it soak, see what happens. A week later here, she's still locked up pretty solid. It will move back and forth just a little bit, uh, but these cylinders and these jugs are just completely gone. They're rusted up so bad that they'll never, uh, they'll, they're never going to work the way they want to. So the game plan is now we've got an old free Volkswagen motor that we 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 bought a bunch of Volkswagens and the motor come with the package. So to me, it was free. Uh, we're going to try to pull this one off, pop that one on. At least we know it's not locked up and uh, see if we can maybe get this little car up and going. Still be a, a will it run just with a different, <laughs> yeah. different engine. So we don't really know what's going to happen on this video. Uh, we're going to shoot for the best and uh, plan for the worst. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about on the uh, on what we pulled off there. Kind of show you. We, they did clean up quite a bit, uh, but just to give you an idea, I'm going to grab the camera and just kind of show you guys in parts real quick. Yeah, when we uh, when we worked on this the other night, we beat and we beat and we beat on these jugs over here, and it finally turned loose. But it was uh, it was quite the quite the challenge with some pry bars and, and, a, and a rubber hammer just to get them off. So, uh, but they did turn loose, but they. They fought every bit of the way. So to show you guys these parts here, here's the old heads. We've got a big old pile of stuff here. So on the heads, you can tell, I mean, they've cleaned up. I don't know if you saw the last video, but uh, they've cleaned up exceptionally well for what they are. Uh, that one there has been soaking a little bit, a little bit more. It looks worse, but it's actually a lot cleaner there. So, um, the valves uh, right here, this one is not closing off all the way. It's still, you know, rusted where it won't seat the way it needs to. So we'd be losing compression on that cylinder as well. Um, but yeah, here's the, uh, so here's the jugs. We've got them soaking in that evapo rust. But like I said, they're just so bad pitted that they would, I mean, this thing would smoke like crazy once we got it up and going, if we did. And here's the Volkswagen motor. So it's just an early, uh, it come out of a beetle is what I was told. So it, it's pretty much complete. It does have the carburetor. We are missing the, uh, the distributor here. So right there is where the distributor is going to go. Uh, luckily, we have some more parts around here. And uh, so we're just going to try to throw a distributor in that. But other than that, it looks to be, like I said, everything there. And the cool thing about it is, well, she's not locked up. I can't hardly hold the camera and turn it over, but she's not locked up there. Give you a hand there. So dad can show you that these things should turn over by hand like that. So as you can tell, this has been sitting outside, <laughs> got leaves and stuff all up underneath it. So it hasn't been maintained the best as well. Uh, but like I said, it come with our uh, purchase. So that's what we're going to try out. See if it, if it'll run. 
So I think uh, our options on <clears throat> either working with that one or working with this one, uh, we're a lot better off with that one than this because uh, we've done everything we can possibly try. I mean, it's, it's still restorable. It's just going to take pulling it completely off, uh, tearing it completely apart, and start over from the inside out. So uh, that's going to be the, uh, the easiest option is just go with another motor. It's not like this, this was the original motor to this car anyway, so uh, it's not going to hurt the value of it any. Yeah, so with that being said, um, I hope that y'all have noticed how we've, we've tried to be able to pop up any kind of donations or any kind of comments that you guys might make. So if you, if you were able to make a donation, we most certainly, I keep looking at the wrong camera, <laughs> we most certainly appreciate it. Uh, we've got my little sister Christian over there. She's running the camera. So uh, she'll be able to kind of answer some questions or comments as we go along as a plan. Uh, we've got a mic on her there. So uh, this is, we're trying to make this as cool and interactive as we can, and hopefully that it all works out. Like I said, we've been playing around with it for the past two days, uh, yeah. trying to get it where it, uh, you know, works the best that it can. But obviously, the only way to find out is to just to jump in and do it. Uh, same way with, with anything you do in life sometimes. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into this now. I feel like I've kind of talked too much anyways. I know a lot of you guys are just here to see some hands-on work. Uh, we've set up a cool camera angle to kind of give you just a really good hands-on view uh, as we pull this thing apart, and uh, hopefully we can keep you guys entertained. Yeah. I don't know. Did you call out Larry? I mean, I know you called out the uh, donation, but I didn't know if, if you said his name or anything like that. So, he... anyway, thanks, thanks, Larry. You didn't hear what I said? Oh, I wasn't listening to. <laughs> I wasn't listening. I was in La La Land. I was thinking on how to get this off. I wasn't listening to what I was saying either. No. <laughs> Just rattling on. What size do you think? Uh, I think it's going to be like a, this up at the top is going to be a little smaller. It looks like about a 14 up here and maybe a 16, 17 on the bottom. Thank you, Charles Wallman, for your donation. He said, shoot some air in those tires. <laughs> I'll do that. Someone asked me to do that, and I don't know if that was him. It was him? Okay, yeah, let me try that real quick. <laughs> I'm going to try that front one. Oh, man, where's the air hose? The air hose over here. So you can go ahead. Okay. I just didn't want to get started before, <laughs> before the tires blew up. I'm curious because if they do, I know some of them won't. Oh, lost my mind. But if we can get it running, we're obviously going to have to have some tires that are a little bit more round than these. He's coming up. I don't know how long she'll last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll take some air over there. Yeah. So the passenger side is done. <laughs> they do hold there. I'm back to the fun part. All righty. Well, I got that one loose. I didn't take it completely out so it doesn't fall in case it does decide to. All right, I'm going to grab the jack. So the cool thing about these old Volkswagens is there's basically four bolts holding them on to the transaxle there. So it shouldn't take too long to actually get this one pulled apart. I don't know, there's, if you can get to that one over there. There's a, I just couldn't get a socket on this one over here, so I don't know if that, that one might have been able to or not. Well, knock off about three inches of old road grime and mud. That's, that's the way this one up. started out. It's just some of them good old nuts that they're, they're loose enough, too loose for the wrench, but too tight for the finger. On this old motor here, uh, 
like Dad said, I mean, anything, it, it can be put back to, to life. But as bad as these cylinders are, uh, I mean, and you can you can buy them on eBay. You can buy this stuff. A pretty simple. Uh, I'm kind of curious, and we may eventually pull this this block apart. It'll come in half, where you could actually see what it's like on the inside of that. Because I know, uh, I know as bad as these cylinders look, that the inside of that block has to just be terrible. You want these? Uh, you, can like you can go ahead and you can go ahead and cut them because okay. I'm just. If we get just that far, wire. I'm just going to run a cord. I mean, a cord uh, wire straight to the cool and from the battery. I hope I'm still not echoing, but uh, thank you, Charlie Bellflower, for your donation. Glass, I can't hang with y'all tonight, but I love y'all channel. Appreciate you, uh, Charlie. And appreciate the merch order that you made uh, the other day. So I don't know if you got it in the mail yet, but if you haven't, you should be receiving it very soon. We have another donation from Frosty Thundertrot. He said, I hate having people watch me work. Don't know how you do it. <laughs> Thank you for your donation. It's a lot different with a camera than it is just a normal person because a normal person, you just feel like they're just hovering over you. So, yeah, this is not, not, not as bad to me. It's quite interesting that people are, are willing to hang out with us sometimes. And um, yeah, this, uh, this car here, wasn't anything that we were planning on getting running, but we got bored and dug into it. So now we feel like we got to <laughs> accomplish something. I could so, cut it, but I don't know what all wires that go to. I think some of it's uh, tail lights and that. Yeah. I wouldn't, as, as mangled up as some of this stuff is, I wouldn't be too concerned on that. Our cool wire is obviously going to, which it's right here. We'll take it loose because you never know if the ignition might still be. <laughs> yeah, I bet not. Oh, Did you get it? Yeah, it came. So we got all the, uh, we've already got all of the uh, motor mounts, or not motor, I guess you call them motor bolts or whatever, pulled out of here. Like I said, there's just four of them. So we're going to get that jack up underneath there, just kind of pull it back some, and then roll this one. We've already got that motor up on some rollers. Uh, kind of roll it over here, put it on that jack, jack it up on there, put it on there. I want to go ahead and uh, pull the, drain the oil out of that, see how it looks. Hopefully it's got oil in it, not water like this had in it. So knowing that it's not locked up, uh, it should be fine. So we'll drain the oil, put oil in it, Put the starter back on it, see if the starter will, you know, engage. Turn that thing over for a little while, let it pump oil back everywhere. And then uh, just go ahead and see if we can get a little fire, a little gas, and see what it does, I guess. Hopefully. I mean, <laughs> I know they always say use the right tool for the right job and that, but I couldn't find a hammer real quick to get this off with. <laughs> so we got 467 people watching with us. So I appreciate each and every one of y'all that are uh, willing to hang out and watch with this. and. Uh, if y'all didn't, like I said, if you didn't catch the first video where we dug into this, it'll explain a little bit more what we're doing here. This block was full of water, uh, and that's it. No oil, just water. And everything was completely locked up, so we have absolutely nothing to lose here. I'm going to get back a little further on that, maybe as long as we don't fall off. So that stuff out of the way there. Okay, I got one left up here on the. Get me something to pry that apart in case we need it. I don't think we will. It should just come apart. Hi, Pierre. Hey, Pierre. He's one of our uh, members. He does very good work from Pierre and New Zealand. Yep, Pierre is one of our top uh, restored members. So thank you, Pierre, for hanging out and uh, considering being a member and always the kind words and support. More, more water coming out of the block. I don't know if it's uh, 
Let me let it down some. Yeah, I think it's maybe just a little bind. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Well, I figured when it turned loose, it would turn loose. So. You know, that clutch doesn't look too bad. I wasn't for sure of the route we were going to take. You let it down? Yeah. Or you just want to pick it up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to do. So, 15 minutes into this, and we've got the motor pulled. I know <laughs> I'd, I'd jag my jaws and talk for 10 minutes probably, so... Uh, this thing was pretty much ready to pull. It only made sense to go ahead and go this route. Hopefully that motor will work out okay. I uh, wasn't really sure on the clutch of what we wanted to pursue on that. Don't know about that clutch there, so we're going to kind of get them side by side, uh, decide what we want to do, and then just go from there. So we're going to get this pulled out, pull that one over here, and just see what they look like. Here's something running out. That's probably out of air I put in them tires. <laughs> So if we go right here, we can probably show them. Uh, well, Joe, just go over that. No, that's the only bad thing. Sometimes these cords get in the way. So, so they probably can't see us at all. <laughs> we'll wheel this one around here. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oop. I'm gonna grab that other camera and kind of okay. show them what we got. Alrighty, try to situate some things here so that it's out of the way. Yeah, I hope that. Uh, thank, you, thank you, Chris Gibson, for becoming a new YouTube member. I'm hoping that the uh, the clutch on this one here works pretty good, but it's hard to say because this one here is rusted as the motor was. The clutch looks better on it than. So here's the, uh, this is what we got on the clutch on the uh, Type 4 uh, engine. Yeah, that flywheel's a little little messed up there, ain't it, on the yep. teeth. So uh, definitely looks a little better shape. I mean, it's not as near as rusty as this one. So I uh, don't know if that's going to spring in or out like it's supposed to. I'm trying to make sure. They obviously look just a little different. Uh, this one's got a lot more yeah. springs in it, as you can tell here right. going around there. So, hmm, just going to make the decision of, I don't even know if the if the boat pattern here, uh, you know, are, are, are the same. So we might try to, let's say we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and this one's got one, two, three, it's got the same amount. Um. I think I kind of want to go ahead and switch that. You know, what do you think? You want to switch that? Uh, yeah, that's fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be hard to kind of show it, but uh, I guess we can rotate it. Well, they may not want to see us work on it. But yeah, I think if uh, this one here is the, the, I don't know, maybe it's not. It looks like the teeth are more more closer together than the other one, but it may not be. I mean, honestly, we can try the one that's there. I mean, worst case scenario, we know how hard it is to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I say no harder than it was to, to get that other one off. We put this one up in there because I'd like to go through all the trouble of swapping those out and this motor here not be any better. But then again, you gotta just weigh out which one you wanna do. Do you wanna put it up in there, find out that that's flywheels? I mean, that clutch net's no good, or let's go ahead and do it now. Yeah. What do y'all recommend? Airhead VW said they're the same. Change them out. Change them out? Okay. Only thing we don't have an alignment tool is the only problem to get that clutch disc centered in there. Uh, so that's my only thing is we right. don't really have the alignment tool to center it up. 
Ja. I say then that's spin it around, stick it in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna try. Uh and then our space now if it's rough, we've got another one that we can spray a little penetrating oil on there. I can find it. Uh it's about there on the edge of the thing there. <laughs> They're saying swap it now. We can. I, I can use a socket yeah. to try to line it up the best I can. Now, if these bolts break off in this flywheel, <laughs> yeah, Who's we're going to have a lot shorter of a live video, which may be fine. <laughs> Probably smaller than Yep. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a 13 or so. Um, so, Christian, I'm going to go ahead and re aim this camera so they can see it a little better. Uh, this one. I don't know if you want to work on one while I get this other one. Yeah, wrong size, this one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Here's our 13. Mine's 13. Well, one of them's one a 14. Of So we've got about 658 people watching. If you're just joining in, uh, I'm pulling off the clutch disc off the original, well, not the original, but the last motor that was on this, uh, this little BMW Izetta, because it's locked up. So we're gonna pull this clutch disc off of this, or the clutch uh, assembly, and put it on this other one, because it just looks to be a little bit better shape, so. You need the impact? No. This one's easy to take out because it's locked up so it don't turn over. No, this one's, it's turning, so that's that's a good thing, but it's kind of helping me get the, the bolts where I need them so I'm not working down low. Other than I'm working in the way of the camera, but. There you go. <laughs> Everybody was probably tired of seeing the back side of me. I was just showing off the t shirts. So we're going to try to keep. Uh, can they see me in this? Because I. Yeah, so you, okay. can't see in that one, so. Right. So uh, we're going to try to keep trying to make these videos better. I mean, obviously, you can tell that I'm an extreme rookie. I don't even know what camera to look at right now. So we'll try to move stuff around. You know, I know it's it's always best where you can see what we're doing. Uh, we've incorporated like some GoPros on on some of on that last one. Uh, the 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 program that we're using now it just didn't work real well with it. So we're just going to keep trying, try to get some multiple angles, get some close up angles, and uh, just let y'all kind of hang out with us as we go. It's kind of it's always kind of fun and scary doing stuff live on the spot, but uh, here we are. <laughs> Same, same kind of work, you just, y'all get to see any mistakes we make. Yeah, you never know what the end result's going to be in the time frame that you're uh, working with. Yeah, I'm getting close. Someone said uh, Christian can do it. Christian can do it. <laughs> this don't have enough grease on it for her to do it. I just about got mine. I should have. I should have grabbed the impact and wasted a little less of y'all's time. So does uh, everything look sound? Uh, sound okay? Best best that it can for uh, a little old hick town of Bogota with very little internet. Thank you, Scott Woodson, for your donation. 
Yeah, it's sounding a little echoey. So I'm just going to talk louder. And... Off our mics? Yeah, okay. Off your mic. Alrighty. So how's your... <laughs> you don't want to come out, huh? Don't want to come out. Hmm. Thought I had a screwdriver here just a minute. There it is. There it goes. Mine, I think they are different. They're different. Because look, mine's smaller. Pretty sure. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, so. I'm going to grab the camera and show, show them. I might leave the camera back there for now. Yeah. It may not hurt until we get ready to. Start doing something but all right guys so to show you this is the disc that we took out of the motor we just pulled off uh, looks to be pretty good shape uh, but the flywheel here is it's actually built a little different and i don't want to get into switching out the flywheels it's smaller here so on dad's yeah this there's a lot more a lot more play there yep so uh we tried <laughs> We tried and we're just going to go ahead and go on back with the uh, with the one that was originally on it and hope for the best. All righty. We need to break those loose in case somebody has to mess with it later. Just for experience. Need to take them off so you can at least try to get the, the bolts cross threaded or something like that to help you out later. <laughs> I'm probably just going to leave this off though. I mean, there's no sense in. Right. Put the bolts back in it so I don't lose it. Or if you do lose it, you lose the whole block. <laughs> Seven hundred and sixty-one people watching, so it's not like if we make a mistake, it's not gonna be unnoticed. Appreciate y'all spending your Thursday evening with us, or whatever it is at your place. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this thing back up okay. out of the way. Get the coffin ready for it. <laughs> that that will be for sale later if anybody's interested. Uh, looks like he just had a flood over there. It turned sideways and yeah. emptied out its gut. Switch it to this one. So I'm glad that y'all couldn't see that. I dumped the motor. Well, okay, I'm good. You can't see it. <laughs> I dropped the motor over there off the jack, and it dumped out all that stuff we've been soaking in there. So we got a good, good pile of wetness to clean up over there. Better over there than laying up underneath here with it. <laughs> I'm gonna unplug this air hose, so there might be a loud yes. And that's brought to you by Lance Bush. <laughs> Rest in peace, all our headphone users. So Dan looks like he's about got this uh, clutch put back together. Uh, so we're about back to where we uh, started with it. So once we get that put back on there, did you try to center that up? I tried, yeah. You need a socket or anything? I think so. I've, I've kind of, I don't have, I thought I didn't have it too tight, but maybe I've got one down here a little tight. Uh, let me see if I can find something about that size. I didn't think I had it that tight, but I guess I did.
I either got it too tight or I've got it misaligned. There, there's something in the back. that one. So what we're going to do is just use, uh, you, we got to get this clutch disc aligned in there in the center of that uh, flywheel. So we're just, we don't have the tool to do that. So we're just going to use a deep socket, try to get it as centered as much as possible. That's what's going to go, you know, allow this, uh, the shaft that comes out of this transaxle to, to, to go in center with the, uh, with the clutch disc and everything there. So I'll let you look, see what your opinion is or let you try it. That way, if it's not right, I'm uh, not the only one. This one actually went right into the flywheel. Right. Let me grab a light real quick. Uh, maybe, I guess it's a different size than that other side. What do you mean? I need to oh, get on that okay. extension. Yeah, you're gonna have to loosen it off some more. Okay. That should slide right into that uh, flywheel. Looks like I move that. I forgot to move that camera. Bear with us, folks. I can't get it much looser without it falling off. Now you may, obviously I hate it, but you may have, that feels like that's going in there like that though. Feels like it's inside that circle in the yeah. Let me get that impact when you're just do 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 it quick. Okay. Need a reducer though. You got the soggy. Okay. Let's see what they feel like. Eight hundred and thirty-nine people. I thought you were gonna tell me eight hundred and thirty-nine foot pounds. <laughs> Wonder how many people are watching right now, thinking we're trying to put it on there backwards. Yeah, I hate that was a different size. Yeah. Just goes to show you, even though it may look the same on the outside, the insides. Yeah. Not always the same, but but you don't know until you get there. I'm give it one smack pound down on it. Okay, we're uh, getting pretty close to time to swing it around and both of us wrestle a hold of it and get it lifted up in there and see if we can't slide it into place. I can get this camera to stay. <laughs> yeah, we've got to come up with another type of hookup for our camera in that. We kind of spur of the moment type thing. Hooking it up the way we did, so. A lot of y'all know how that is. You just have to work with what you got. Turn it around. 
I mean, we might honestly be able just to pick it up. I don't know. It'd be easier having that jack up underneath there. Man. How solid is that? That one was not bad. You can just try to lift it up and set it up. Try it. Starter got my fingers. Let me get that out of the way. Where'd it go? We're probably fighting that and going on that shaft. If you want to get that jack under it, we'll. <laughs> yeah, got to got to rotate big. it. The starter is just really in a yeah. All the wires keep it from moving the way it needs to. Should be fine like that. Yeah, I can try to let me see if I can turn it here. Or... Yeah, that thing is locked. It's that wheel that don't want to turn. I'm gonna try to turn the motor just to here. Well, goodness. It must be up against it because it ain't gonna turn. There we are. We're going or... It looked like it went on your side, but my side's stubborn. Not quite. Huh? Yeah, so that clutch disc is not lined That's up just right. right. I won't want to go on there. I'm going to let, let me find out if I need to go up or down with it. What do you think? Uh, I'm going to go down. Yeah, I'm going to say down. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Cobweb sticking all over me. Yeah. <laughs> Need a, a wrench or something, you can turn that way. I'm really afraid that we've got that uh, clutch disc off center just a hair. And it's not allowing that to right. slide in the way it needs to. Nick says, No, they're actually AC Delco, I think, but no heavier than this little old thing is. Them Harbor Freights might work. I think it needs to come up some. Okay. See that point where I'm gonna have to take my hat off and show my crazy, crazy hair. hair. Huh. That's what it's gonna be. Yeah. I hate that because <laughs> it was probably perfectly centered. Yeah, I mean, without pulling that out and knowing for sure that that socket's going in there the way it needs to, to be centered, right. we could keep fighting it forever. Uh, pull it back loose, I guess, and take the clutch completely back off. And I guess we're going to have to do something to... That's what it... I mean, because it's, it's partially lining up because it won't... Right, lines up one but not the other. Well, the teeth are hanging on it, allowing it not to turn. I guess we could put a little grease on it too. Wouldn't hurt. Oh, there it went. No, it didn't. Oh, I thought it did. <laughs> Just the top. That's all I wanted was the top. No. All right. Pull it out. Got it? Yep, got it. 
I want some wires. Uh, right there. Yeah. yeah, we should just cut that. <laughs> they come back and harness more than they are. They're probably right here, Lance, up underneath my belly. Up underneath my belly. Could fall over. And I have a problem now. Might have to come out all the way, ain't we? Oop. Okay, I got it. Just couldn't do it switching my hands. Can you spin it around this way some? Should be good. Oops. <clears throat> Pulling this clutch back off. <laughs> the second time, let's try to get that clutch clutch this center uh, best we can. We tried to switch it out with the clutch that was on that other motor, but it was different. So I just need to find a socket that's going to fit in there. Is that one still laying over there? Yes. Just a second. Yeah, we really need that alignment tool. We actually have some down at the other shop, but. Yeah, I don't know that we would have one for that. Even if we did, it's down at the other shops. <laughs> it doesn't got hot in here. It has got hot. <laughs> I might, I might just be really nervous. <laughs> I want to apologize to everybody if you hear a lot of heavy breathing. It's, <laughs> uh, it's what? It's me. <laughs> it's my, my fat belly. This will work good if I can find a longer. Telling the story. Our cameras fell over on us, it looks like, a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's working. I see my wife just put something up on there, some kind of a emoji. Yeah. So I'm gonna go to this camera, Christian. Kind of show them what I'm doing here. So I don't know if the focus. It may not be very good. It's not very good. I don't yeah. think it's gonna focus because it's it's auto focuses off. So, try it right here. <laughs> All right, guys. I don't know if you can see this very well or not. So we don't. There should be a an alignment tool that goes in here that centers it up on the flywheel. So what I'm going to do is I've got a little contraption set up here. Um, this socket fits inside the flywheel really well. So and this fits inside the clutch. So that should keep everything as centered as we can to try this again. Should work. Sometimes you don't have to have great tools, you just have to have a great imagination. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, think, I'm thinking that whoever said that maybe Christian should try this. <laughs> Somebody said they was watching Oompa, and now they're here. Yeah, I don't know. Made a, made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> in chocolate land. So we still got the video coming up on the AMC Pacer, the Revival video on it. And then we bought a really cool 67, um, uh, it's a big truck, 67 Chevy. It's got a hydraulic dump bed on it. Uh, really cool looking. That supposedly it was running back in 2011. I'm going to try to see if we can get it running and drive it, drive it home. Go back on with this. 
I don't know what we'll do with a dump truck, but <laughs> I'm sure we'll figure something. I would say we could use it to haul junk, but we don't ever haul junk. I think that's got it. Make sure that they're snug enough where it's just before they break, then stop. Yeah. When's that dump truck video coming? Uh, so I would say within today is what Thursday. Uh, I would say probably maybe the beginning of the next week. Not this next week, but the week after that. I think the pacer will show up first. Well, you got them tight, so I can spin this back around, kind yep. of. <clears throat> I was kind of enjoying that job. <laughs> I noticed your, your breathing got a little better. Yeah. It's, here, I'll, uh, if you want to use the jack, I'll kind of hold it. Try to. All righty. We want to do lifting it or jack it? I mean, uh, might as well jack it. It's already up underneath there. As long as it's underneath there, okay. <laughs> it's under there. Yeah. I can guarantee that. That's the only thing. Wish I had some grease to put on that shaft there to kind of help it. Uh, I don't know. Let me look real quick. Uh, real quick. Mm, okay. Thank you, Sam, here for the donation. It's a great website. Love learning from watching you do your thing. Man, I need to learn how to read. <laughs> that's, why, that's why that's your job. i teach you how to read and work on cars. <laughs> We're about to try to stab this motor again for the second time. We're about 47 minutes in, so should have already had it, but had a little clutch issues. <laughs> As for that smiley face earlier, Tammy, you get to wash my jeans now. Keep going. Uh, honestly, I think it's just gonna be easier just to grab the thing, and because it's so off-centered, you know. Right. Well, if you can hold it, I'll get that jack. Yes. Okay, I got it. Okay. Come on, girl, go up on there. Okay, now I'm ready. I got my pants hitched up. I wish I could run and kick it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I wish I could put both of my legs right here and just push it. I don't know that I can't. Try it. <laughs> no. No. Mate, if we I can. I think we need to come down just a hair. Okay. Let's see if I can find that crescent wrench to put on the. The bottom, I think. Yeah. Huh? I was going to say it's the bottom of that toolbox. I don't think this will get big enough. Yeah. Huh. This won't move. Maybe go down. No, I feel like it's too high. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Let's 
still acts like it's too high. Right. I'm going to go low okay, and then yeah, we can we just can. lift it. Well, the odds are you going low with it. <laughs> Any suggestions, guys? Wish I had if them bolts were long enough, which they're not. You could almost go ahead and at least get them in there and then jiggle it around, you know. Right. Your bolt wasn't near that long, was right. it? No, but no, I should say I could put that one in on mine, but then you don't have one for yours. Huh. I don't know if the, uh, yeah, so the center, we didn't check the actual the teeth of the, the clutch disc here, if it was different. I can pull this loose and just slide that up on there. Yeah. <clears throat> Got it? Yeah, do now. Yeah, so it goes. That one. But that oh, was yeah, the original. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of play up in that too. I think that's what it's doing is it's playing. It's moving, yeah, around on us. I'm gonna try to make sure that thing's in gear so which I don't think it, it we guess it won't matter. Yeah, so I don't really know. My finger fits in that one. I think they're going to be the same on that. But I think that's what we're fighting. It's kind of, as we're hitting it, you know, it's... It's wallowing. Moving around yeah. and wedging. Move back. Back over here where I was. <laughs> I thought it was just going to go right in there. Can you turn, if you turn that wheel, will it kind of... Tires just spinning on it. This one won't turn. It's locked up or on the ground. Maybe on the ground. Well, guys, I thought we'd have her on there by now. You might try to move that, uh, you are the crank. Right. That may be different. I hate to have to pull it off one more time to check it. Seem like it's even trying. Let's see, it's, it's, it's wedging on there because that should just turn just as easy as can be. Yeah. Yep. Man, I don't want to have to pull that loose again to I know put it. that disc on there. Should have just tried it, I guess, to begin with, but. Coming back? Not really. No. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. I guess that's the only thing we can do. Yeah, that's what we're. So that's what we think. We're going to go ahead and pull it back loose and check and see. We should have done that to begin with, but 
got excited to <laughs> have got this. it off too easy. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay. All right, guys. Round three. <laughs> Still easier than the other one was. <laughs> I got beads of sweat rolling down my face in November. This is not anything for Texas. Texas. So if this is different, I mean the only option you'd have is to change the flywheel. Change the flywheel and hope that we can get you know it off. People have been suggesting that. Change the flywheel. Yeah. All righty. We're fixing to find out if it's. We've blind. we've played around with a lot of Volkswagens and we've had a lot of Volkswagens. That camera is that where we're going on? So we've played around and had a lot of Volkswagens, but for the most part, we just you know get them running with you know basically they need a little the points clean <laughs> or something like that. I haven't done a whole lot. I mean, well, I would definitely not say we're Volkswagen uh, gurus or fanatics, but they're pretty simple to work on, and this is how you learn. I mean, you never know. Ever, uh, you think that a lot of this stuff is the same until you get digging into it, and that's the same with any vehicle. You never realize how they make so many different uh, styles of this or that. So the moment of truth, it went right on. Hmm. So it goes right on there. So we're just having issues with it lining up. Yeah, I would say, I mean, there's not an issue. I think what it's doing is it's... It's binding you in. See, I see, because it's like that right there. It won't go on. I can't even get it to go on. There we go. I'm going to put a lot of grease up okay. inside. Yeah, grease the, guns right around over here. So. Inside that thing, I'll just wait until... Well, in between them wheels. Thank you, Willie Yaw, for your donation. You get her done. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, we're shooting for for another, you know, kind of shut it down at the two hour mark. So <laughs> we're at the one hour mark. So we're gonna have to get pretty busy to. Well, it's a good thing it came off as quick as it did, or else we'd be at the three hour mark right now. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie Conquest, for your donation. He says, does it have pilot pilot bushing? Maybe different. Um, I don't think we're getting up that far onto the shaft for it to... Well, he could be right, yeah. Uh, we have nothing to compare yeah. on that other one of what this, what this motor would have been like. Do you think we're getting up that far and it's hitting the, the pilot bearing and not allowing it to go further? Uh, I don't... I think so. I mean, you should be able to go over there and measure out that from the, uh, the back of the motor onto how far out the uh, pressure plate and all that was, couldn't you? Well, you don't really know what the, uh, you know, the style that, yeah, I guess so. And just get you a distance on it at least to yeah. see if it's pushing against it. Hopefully we'll get it. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Yeah, because if y'all aren't here watching us, we're doing it here by ourselves. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. At least we know that's... which that bearing is. It needs some, if you, that won't stay balanced, will it? Uh-uh. We need to spray something on that bearing. It's a little, little locked up. Ready? 
I can try to spit on it from here, but I don't think I'll hit it. Let me see if I could find a socket that's just a, a hair bigger than that. What size you got? Um, well, it's just going to go by the overall. <laughs> right. Outside diameter. Yeah. It's a little closer. But it won't fit through, isn't it? I see uh, 12 volt starters and 6 volt flywheels are different starter thing. trouble ahead. Uh, the starters might be different. And it might not fit on the transaxle. Hmm. So, do the teeth look the same on the? Pablo said, put those flywheels up next to each other. You see a big difference in teeth and a bit different outside diameter. All right, I'll go ahead and measure them because I can't, um, you know, obviously just pull that one off there. But I can get a quick measurement. The teeth do look like they're. So this one is. 10 and three quarters. That one looks like coarser teeth. Than this. This yeah, it does. I think this had finer teeth looking. But it was hard to tell. Just... Airhead Volkswagen said that the 12-volt flywheel is bigger than the 6-volt one on the old engine. Yeah, I can definitely tell the teeth are different. Yeah, it's bigger than the 6-volt one. Yeah, it's bigger than the 6-volt one. Yeah, I can definitely tell the teeth are, are different. They're really close to the same size. But like you said, the teeth on that one there. Um, let's try to... I think if, I think if we don't switch the flywheel, we're going to have a, gonna a starter won't you know right. work on it anyways. So thanks for the help, guys. We're going to try that. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get this flywheel off and uh, switch it out with that other one. Then we can use that other clutch and everything. Paul Mullen, thank you for the donation. He said left front tire is flat. <laughs> <laughs> Did it go flat? Oh, left, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to have a different... We'll just go ahead and set it down. I can't get in over here to get to do it. Oh. Okay. We'll move it around so we got a little bit better angle for them. Vice Grip Garage said, just got my restored shirt. Great quality and fit. <laughs> Appreciate that, Derek. Thanks for making the live feed here. We're... uh. Not having fun, <laughs> but we're working on cars. All right, let's find. So that's a back angle there. I think we could go ahead and just switch it around. Twist it. A little dark, but it would probably work. Let's see if I can find a big old socket. I got some big old sockets. That should help y'all to be able to see a little better. We're going to go ahead and try to get this flywheel bolt out. I think these things have a crazy amount of a torque they put them on with, but I could be wrong. Probably not going to have what we need. Sloppy. Of course, we know it's metric, but we're not going to have it. Right. <laughs> Might work. I'm going to try to hit it with that. Uh, That's close to it so far. That impact, but I don't know where that big adapter is. Do you? Uh, it's in here, I think. That goes to the impact? Uh, I was thinking I saw that. Yeah. 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 Um, it's probably just going to turn. You may have to put that crescent, crescent wrench on that. Twelve hundred fifty people watching. Ready? Yep. Come on. Sound like an old telephone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, I'm going that way. Why is it turning? I'm able to turn it here, but I wouldn't think I would be able to. Is your bolt coming in loose or something? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. uh That ain't working.
barking. Probably ringing everybody's ears though. Try the big, try the big daddy. <laughs> I feel like we're back to where we started on the first video. Yeah. Not able to hold it up there. Yeah, I'm holding it. Apparently it's turning though. Probably because it's loose than that one. Let's see, go ahead. Probably loose than that boat. Yeah, that's what it's doing. And we're going to have to figure out a different way to let like them holes go all the way through. What do y'all suggest on getting this motor to stay solid? <laughs> I don't think that's going to do me any good. I don't think I got no, enough. Not in, not, in not in the teeth enough. I don't want to mess the threads up on that. Wars, old iron for this donation. I'm sorry, I'm not there, but I broke once in a while. Did that help? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely helps. I just don't see any. I just can't get. I'm, well, that one's too big. It's yeah. round and then. Uh, Bob Smith said, is it reverse threaded? Them, them holes go all the way through. No, nah, I don't think so. I think they're just put on there with a crazy amount of uh, torque. 15,000 foot pounds. I'm trying to find the screwdriver that's about that size. Two bolts in the flywheel and use a pry bar. Yeah, to do that. Let me try this first. Come on. She's holding solid. It just. I ain't got enough meat on my bones. Okay. Ready? Screwdriver break. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't even doing anything. You were. <laughs> We'll try that where the bolts at. They're not right here. <clears throat> you did spice them, or what do you reckon? Uh, I don't know. I'll try that. I'll try that. It's right there. Wrong size. 14. 14. Well, for anybody that's just joined, we're trying to get this flywheel off of this air-cooled Volkswagen motor so we can switch it out with our old one and Hopefully get this thing stabbed on there. There we go. Ready? Yep. It's bending our pry bar. <laughs> find something stronger than that. I feel like whenever I was young and I was messing around with one of these, 
I, I Googled it and it was like 300 because I bought it. Remember, I bought a special torque. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I could have been completely wrong. Well, I may have to let it kind of hit the floor. Hit the floor. And, uh, Oops. Ouch. What do we got going on there? Is that that screwdriver? Yeah. Something's got it stopped. Yeah, that being broke off in there is not going to be good. Got it? Got it. There we go. No? Yeah, something going. Right. I think we got it, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh my eye. I'm going to have to go home. Oh, gosh. Workman's comp. Man, everybody would have seen me knock you out live. <laughs> <laughs> you knocked out live. <laughs> YouTube be trying to pull a video. <laughs> Father and son duo. <laughs> That'd be the drama for the show. All right, that's one. <laughs> one down. All right, well, we got that flywheel off. Now to try to get the other one loose. Oh. Probably just gonna move this camera to that. Alrighty. Y'all get to see the mess that he made a while ago. <laughs> if you want to, yeah. Tighten it a little bit, give me some. Hour and 12 minutes. This one's probably not going to need anything on it because it's, it's not turning anyways. That's true. It'll and break. Like, <laughs> it'll watch break it start turning over, yeah. Probably this backside, yeah. Man, be careful that don't come unplugged. Oh. Yeah, so this motor, we, we, we scrap because it won't turn over, so... Getting the flywheel off of it shouldn't be that hard. Hopefully, let her get that camera set up. <laughs> she got crazy legs. It's like it's like a bow-legged spider. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like something you see on a futuristic. Tim Burton cartoon, something show or something. Is that too close for y'all? Well, I'm not gonna hit it. No. no. Okay. Here we go. See if I'm pick up dad. <laughs> <laughs> if I pick up dad or the uh, bow comes out. Here we go. Oh yeah, too easy. Yeah, that motor wasn't coming out. I'm coming loose. So thanks for the help, guys. <laughs> yeah. We probably would have still been fighting some of this stuff. There's it right there. There we go. Cool. Let's see if we can get it on this other one now. All righty. Should be good. Should be good. Okay. I'll move 
Where'd I put it? Is that it, I guess? Yeah, that's when we took off. It's got two bolts in it. No. You might move it over here, Christian, yeah. if you can. Mm -hmm. Bear with us, folks. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I guess that angle's not too bad. Fourteen hundred and fifty three people. Now if I does anyone know does anyone actually know? Uh, we probably missed the comment of what the torque is for this uh, bolt here. Tight. Because that's what it's gonna be. We're just yeah. gonna get it as tight as we can, but I'm just curious if I was way wrong whenever I was messing with this as a kid and bought that high dollar torque wrench for no reason. Because yeah. we I bought it yes, and then we yes. couldn't even we could we didn't have the strength. Didn't to have get the strength to do it. Try to use it on the ground. Uh, I can't because I can't that, get to uh, yep. Um let me just get it laced. Well, I should be able to hold on the other side though with a lot of people say two fifty. Two fifty, so that's still a lot. That's still that's about, that's more about than what, my little weight. That's, stuff say, that's about what I weigh, so I just put my foot on it and pound on it. <laughs> True. <laughs> Two grunts before you fart, someone said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You better stop at that one. All right. Okay, I'm gonna have to have something here that I can try and think what I can put against it to keep because I don't want to mess up that shrap. Go ahead. That, will that pipe fit on that? Because I can get a different pipe. I don't think it will though. Yeah, it'll, it'll fit on it. Right. We have another piece of pipe somewhere. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm not sure where it's at. If not, I'll just. Uh, Stand on that the best I can. Better remember we don't want to break the boat off on this side though. Well, it's just, what is it, just getting it tight? Yeah, stuff? it's just tight now. I really don't think that's going to work. I think we need to try to put something back here. Okay. Because, yeah, we don't want to. <laughs> we don't want to round that baby off. That'll work once it gets. It's against that. Was it against? Right here. Yeah, but I'm just kind of. Hitting? It's a. Just don't want to bend that because that's the boat. The thing. Oh, I got gotcha, gotcha. yeah. And it's way out there, so I'm afraid it's going to bend it. Uh. Yeah, I don't think I'll get the socket out right there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Boom. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Um, it's turning that way, so it's. Well, just a second. Yeah, that'll work. Here, just take it and just, just pull them <laughs> together. It together. I mean, I guess I'm going to say that's <laughs> good enough. I can't get it to go anymore. Let me use this one here instead, too, because that other one just didn't impress me. I, mean, I can't get on that one. That one is flexing too much. I think I can get it. 
cut. I think. Don't break my teeth off. Or I can I can get further out. I can get on the on the boat there if you want me to. There's that piece that came out of the screwdriver. If I can wedge that in there. It's gonna take being on two of them to Yep. Can you not get on that side of that one? There we go. Watch your face. <laughs> I got the grunt. Yeah, got the grunt. I'm just going to stop there. Woo. Perfect torque to spec. That's what someone said. All right. Now. Now the this clutch, before we make a mistake, put the other one on. Well, it won't the, fit the, yeah, it's too big, huh? The, the disc. That's right. That's all. Well, the disc. Uh, that was out there with it. Nate Ramosi said, I don't think torque really matters at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Here it is. I think this is it. Yeah, or, that's smart. the old one. No, it's not. Is it? I guess we'll know. Yeah, there it is. You got my little adjustment tool? Uh, somewhere. I've got all kinds of tools. And that 13 uh, millimeter socket. Yeah, for the so I can use the impact. Okay. 14. How about I just put some dirt inside that and make it a 13? Remember that one time we broke down on the side of the road and we needed a, I think a 13 millimeter, and I ended up taking a penny and bending it and putting it <laughs> putting in there it inside of a socket and making it work so you get the nut on the boat off. So really cool, <clears throat> really cool story as he's looking for some tools here. Um, I went to Wild Tech as a, you know, a technical training school after I graduated high school. And uh, no, this was actually, we were going to California. Going to California so I'd yeah. already graduated from Wild Tech and I was going to a BMW step program in California. And my little 97 two-door Tahoe that y'all may have seen in the inventory video, my first ve uh, vehicle, we were driving it, pulling a camper and I blew an intake gasket about seven hours from home. And uh, so we were stranded there. Uh, I mean, it poured all the water into the into the block you know it was terrible we pulled the thermostat out just to even make it to a gas station and it never locked up we got there uh we called our pastor they were going to come and try to pick us up and help us and uh, they, they actually knew somebody that lived in that town eight hours from where we were at and they loaned us out all the tools we needed to do it there was a part store that had the intake gasket in stock so me and dad changed that intake gasket at the gas station uh in like three or four hours we were on the road and heading that way and uh that's completely how god works and it, it is crazy how that happened uh finding somebody that we had no idea who they was they were willing to loan us all these tools you know we got the parts there we did it and didn't even know what we were doing at the time uh, but really cool story and a great memory we always talk about but i had to take a we had the wrong size socket and i had to take a penny and stick in there to pull my thermostat housing loose <laughs> and that was a, that's another miracle in itself, I guess. Then we had the big sandstorm while we were yeah trying to do it. And it I don't know that I'm going to have to put this in there first. first. Okay. okay. I think that's got it. So hopefully this flywheel and Fly everything, on. yeah, goes a lot smoother on installing that than the last one. So I'm assuming a lot of people are saying, I guess this was a, would have been a six volt, um, six volt engine right here, which we're going to use 12 volt to, to try to crank it if we get that far, which you can. Yeah, if I get in the right spot there, I'm just <laughs> trying to screw it right into a divot. Did you ever find that? Yeah. This clutch is definitely going to allow it to find the adapter, though. Allow it to do burnouts like we're wanting it to. 
Uh, I guess you, you had it on there, didn't you? Yeah, I figured it would have still been stuck to that. I didn't ever find it, so. Do what? I never found it, so I just grabbed another 13. Oh, yeah. I took it off. Took it off and put it someplace that I wouldn't remember. That's the way it works. You put it somewhere and it'll, it'll always show up. No, I really do remember taking it off, but I have no clue where I put it. Is it not up at the top? We'll just use a ratchet. We don't. Okay. Uh, ratchet no over there. Do. Time we find it. Well, that's the socket right there. I went and got a different one. Oh. Because I couldn't find the other one. Right here? Oh. <laughs> Well, I don't know where the socket is. It goes to it. inside of this oh. one. Somehow it perfectly fit. That's at 14. Okay. Right, go ahead and do it though, since it's straight across from that first one. Still got people hanging out. So Nate said, are, are you guys, uh, you can click that. Are you guys all cleared of COVID? Hope you're feeling normal again. So yes, sir, we're we're all clear and good now. And uh, had to be quarantined for two weeks. And, uh, we were blessed that none of our symptoms were really anything bad. You know, we've, uh, we've had people that, you know, we've lost people in our family to it, as well as, you know, I'm sure everybody else has. But for us, uh, our symptoms just wasn't, wasn't anything bad. Why is that not pulling in? Something's keeping that from pulling in. I'm glad you noticed it because I couldn't see from the We still got to put a distributor in this thing. <laughs> um, now everything seems bad out of whack here. We're gonna have to. Do it. I sure wish we had that alignment tool. Oh, there's a. What is it? I don't know what that is. Why that? It's got like little teeth that just didn't quite go behind. The... Let's pull it back off. There looks there's some little teeth that maybe there's one way that thing will go on there. See? Unless those are supposed to fit. That's what was hitting though. With my left hand, look. I didn't put in any of them. Can't put in any of them. If anybody's just now joining in, we're trying to get this uh, clutch put back on this flywheel that we switched over. Just trying to make sure everything's center here, and you may have to tighten. That's the one that had the. To... I know that's gonna be that fourteen. They've got those little things out. Pull down. Yeah, pull down, but it's it's probably just gonna do it on the other side. It's looking better. I should have just traded out that 14 with a with one of these 13s from the other one. We're not going to use them. Okay. Oh, 
All right. Let's get down. Trying it out. You can try or put snow going on real quick. Talk to myself, Rosen. How come you're not getting your hands dirty this time, Christian? I would if I could. Gotta if, run the cameras. And we'll have to have something to. I'm not strong enough to do what they're doing anyway. So. <laughs> Hold up front, maybe crescent wrench, crescent wrench. Try behind you. Maybe if we can get this stabbed up on there, she can do the, the funner parts. Get it stabbed up on there, and then we got to put it, uh, well, we got to drain the oil out of it, put some oil in it, see if it'll, you know, the starter should match up because it's the flywheel and everything. So, yeah, it's going to match up. Turn it over, let that oil pump around, put that distributor in there. Please let her fit now. We're gonna try again, guys. Probably gonna have to move that camera. To... I'm gonna move the camera real quick and dad's gonna entertain y'all while I, I'm gonna rope him like yeah. a steer. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> all righty that was entertaining most entertaining yeah. part of the whole video and y'all missed it <laughs> yep so y'all see what i have to put up with all the time you they can make tell fun them. Of, they, they make fun of the old man took away all my cord <laughs> teamwork, teamwork. And that's about as well as I entertain. So if you ever come to my house and my wife says, I'm going in the other room, why it's going to entertain you, that's what you get. That's a lie. <laughs> True. But yeah, we, we appreciate y'all hanging out with us and uh, almost 1,500 people. That's, a, that's bigger. That's more people than the Bogota even has in it. That's crazy, ain't it? It's crazy. <laughs> Maybe it's everybody in Bogota's watching us, plus a few extra, because we've only got like 1,100 people here in, in town, so. I gotta get a drink. And out of the 1,100, or 1,500 people that's watching, oh, it is over 1,500 now. Uh, probably two of them are from, from local. Mom said what? Do your MC I couldn't hear you. <laughs> I can say it again. <laughs> It doesn't get it done, though. Yeah, I used to do the MC Hammer. Didn't do it right. So do y'all guys like the live videos? I mean, obviously, we plan on still doing our uh, typical edited videos and stuff, but these are kind of fun to us and a little bit different than I feel like a lot of people are doing on, on YouTube. So we thought we'd give it a shot and... Try to see how it works out for us, or so far, it don't work out for us. <laughs> you want to just stare at it? Yeah, stare <laughs> at it. Let me hit that uh, before I forget. That bearing needs some. Stare at it long enough, it'll jump up on there by itself. Or somebody watching will get mad and say, I'm going down there. <laughs> There's probably someone outside already. Yeah. Ready to slap us. A lot better. All right. Uh, if you want to lift this back. If I want to lift it up. Throw that jack up underneath there. Okay. This is where Christian could help. <laughs> I'll let you get over there. I think we're going to slide the jack with us. Well, I figured we'd just pick it up. Here we go. You want to hold it? Okay. Yep, okay. It's not okay. on there yet, but it's where we were earlier. <laughs> yeah, we're, no, we're no further behind than we were when we last left. Okay. 
catch our breath and too high still. I think so. Okay. I don't know if I'm in the. Grab that light. I can't tell if I'm actually in the. Um, is yours that boat going down through that hole like next to? I guess mine is. It's hard to tell. In the bottom? Yeah. Not Should be. Let's see. I can't tell. You can't tell. You need a light or glasses? <laughs> Probably both. I don't even see it at all. I think it's gone. It's got to be in there because it's pretty centered around the rest of this. I think that shaft is just so loose up in there. Every time we pick it, it just it's moving with us. Yeah, I'm up in there. Let's get the jack further towards the the what let's get the jack back towards the thing so we're not just you know what i mean all the weights okay i could probably go back a little more okay that's got the weight i didn't <laughs> think about that <laughs> It better not be the flux capacitor. We can't afford that. I'm gonna hold my mouth a little different. Went in. Yep. Here we go. We finally got it, guys. <laughs> so I just need to hold my mouth a little different. Ooh. I was at that point of praying, which I should have done at the very beginning. I'm putting. The, I'm putting the boat in it. Josh, for the uh, donation, the viewing from Canada. Keep the live stream coming. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, Christian, you've been reading some of the comments. What did they think about the live streams? I mean, they that's like they like them. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we would love to be able to try to do them. Um, so, we would love to try to do these live streams like out on the field, like on picks, like with customers and stuff like that. And I've been looking into try to find like good mobile hotspots, but unfortunately, who I'm out of breath. <laughs> Unfortunately, in our area, there's not a whole lot offered, but we bought a hundred foot Ethernet cord so we can do live uh, will it runs out outside, you know. So if we get something, if we got a good, nice weather day, do something outside, we can even film me, you know, driving down the road because we can reach our cameras out that far. So sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Well, it's good to know that I'm not the only one. Mm -hmm. Breathing like that, Dad. We've got we've got twenty one minutes to get this thing running. Yeah, I told, I've been told to not let y'all know what time it is. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad that finally went together. I guess this ran that way, didn't it? With the starter, yes, it went that way. Uh, it, it should work fine that way. So I'm gonna go. You got the bottom one already in there. I got the. Trying to get the nut on it now, but I'm going to have to get a wrench to make sure that I don't have one on that side. So, can can they see what we're doing right now, or should I move? They can? Okay, cool. So, we don't know anything about this starter. It is all wired up still. We cut some wires earlier, but they were just to the uh, brake lines there. Uh, brake lines. <laughs> brake lights. Good grief. So, we're going to try to put this thing on there and hope that she works oh. 
I'm glad someone uh, let us know that that flat. Now that uh, there was a cable. A ground. Oh yeah, that that bolt came through this other it direction, did. but it didn't have this on the other engine. Uh, so it's not going to. No, no. Can't get it that way. So I'm gonna have to. Have hopefully to it'll go through there. But that, that ground was. This one was. Yeah. Yeah. That fit. Oh, it was probably just on the threads. On the though, threads, yeah. So I'll just, well. We may just have to take it, bring the battery to this side and not even use that one. Yeah. I hate, I hate it because we can just round somewhere else yeah. we got to. Henry G said, Christian, hide the clock. We want to see it run. <laughs> we've only been doing this for 30 minutes. So so, okay, I'm trying to find, find some tools and lose some tools so 1600 people that is absolutely blows my mind i'm gonna have to pull that super ground off to get that in there need like a 10 or something on that you know I wonder what our battery looks like on that camera. It's lasted a while. Yeah, I'm not sure. Still shows full battery. So if we lose the camera, we'll uh, try to get it hooked back up real quick. Probably going to be an 11 because I've got a 10. Here's a 12. Wait a minute, let me try. Just in case a 7 16th might work. We want to get this, uh, got it? Yep. Oops. This is probably your knuckles. Not my eyes. <laughs> we want to get this starter hooked up, motor bolted together, and try to see if we can get it to turn over with the starter. We may have to, uh, you know, rig up some wiring on this starter. I highly doubt that any of this stuff is functional, but we can just, uh, you know, jump it across at the solenoid. Once we get to that point, I have to get a screwdriver and pry it off. That's Once our, you go for it, it'll come off about the time you get, get it found. Don't break that one. That's the one we might have to use. <laughs> I got it. You broke it? No. <laughs> All righty. That stupid wire done got in there again. There we go. Uh, I'm about to draw mine in. Yeah. Mom says she wants to, she wants to see it run too. <laughs> well, she can come up here and help. <laughs> Same with my wife. She's probably watching. Nah, I think she's hanging out with her family tonight. There's a... What was the one bottom there. one? Of yeah, I used to... I couldn't find another 17, so I used a standard. It's right here, the other one. Oh. Yeah, this motor is a little, little funnier looking back here, but you know, if you wanted to put the wood floor or something back in here, you'd obviously have to alter a little bit of that. But uh, the plan is on this car, we're more than likely going to end up selling it, but. Now we've invested a little bit more time into it. Uh, not any more money. Like I said, this was a free motor we had. Free in my eyes. We, we got a good deal on a bunch of Volkswagens and this come with it. I think he said it ran, but most of the time when you buy something old that's been sitting, that's a good seller point. <laughs> yeah, especially if it's not in the car. Yeah. It ran when they parked it. <laughs> Was under a shed. This was actually a motor that he included. We bought a Volkswagen thing, and this was a, the motor was kind of tore apart in it. So he he had this motor he was going to put in it. But a lot harder to get at these bolts on this one than it was on that other one. Yeah. 
Let's see if I can find a ratchet. Chris McKay said, could you just transfer the cooling system from the other engine? Uh, uh, I don't oh, know. Yeah. I, that one's weird to me. I, uh, that one has a completely different style, uh, everything on the cooling stuff. So I'm not sure. You probably could. Trying you to say a, you probably could or we probably could. <laughs> you don't want help? It all pays the same to me. <laughs> same as that old engine. It's free. <laughs> no, I get to. My wife gets mad because she says, you get to spend all the time with, with the kids, and I don't ever get to spend any time with them in that. So uh, if she wants to spend time with them, she can come up here and, <laughs> and enjoy this with us. And Her, uh, Christian and Mom could get that ranchero running to Christians. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sure that would be real. <laughs> she actually helped me put a motor. My wife helped me put a motor in a 70 model Chevrolet pickup when she was I think seven months pregnant with Lance. So that's what happened to me, huh? That's what's happened to you. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> and we did it used a tree, which I'm sure there's a lot of y'all guys out there that use trees for your uh so you come along to hook to to pull pull and put the motor in so when they say shade tree i was actually really shade tree in that one <laughs> well did it work everything worked it worked it smoked like a freight train <laughs> the guy that we bought it from guaranteed it wouldn't smoke so we took it back out and uh carried it carried it back to him and he said he said, well, how are you going to show me it smokes? I said, you going to have to take my word on it. He said, no. I'm... So that was the last time we did any business with him. But, yeah. Should have laid it on fire. Should have laid it on fire, yeah. Probably would have smoked then. Yeah, he, uh, he guaranteed it wouldn't smoke, but we had to leave it. And I don't know what he was going to do with it if we'd have left it in the vehicle or how he was going to fix it. But anyways, that was a waste of $75. <laughs> <clears throat> It was more of a waste of a day than it was seventy five dollars. Those were the, those were the days back in. You could buy a transmission fifty bucks yeah. all day long because she bought a Camaro. Last, after, well, we traded that actually traded that truck for a Camaro later on, and uh, it was terrible on transmissions. It was a. Uh, I replaced. I replaced the transmission three times, and the person we sold it to, they replaced it twice after that. So, how's your side going? Pretty good. I just it's kind of an awkward spot for this one. I can't get much of a turn on it when I. Yeah, that's kind of how mine was. I lost that. Uh, man, I keep losing stuff. The socket that went on the bottom. Unless I already put it on there. The nut that went on the bottom starter. Uh, it was up here. There it is. I don't know if you need that too, but there's. That's it. That's it. Thank you, Max McCoy. I don't know how how he'd know, but I've been craving ice cream like crazy for the past mm -hmm. two weeks. Been locked up in the house, not being able to go anywhere and not having ice cream. <laughs> what are you looking for? I don't know what size that one was. Uh, uh, it was I don't know if it was a 14. I think it's a... I'll try that. I'm bigger than that. So 15 or 16. Uh, it's it was quite a bit bigger than that. But. It'll be a 15 or a 17 because I took it off and I don't remember what I used, but Fifteen. If I, if I keep dragging my feet, you'll have everything put together before I... <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to put the distributor in it. I've got <laughs> ten minutes. I don't know about that. 
Well, we should have done it. Was it last Sunday when we had the daylight saving? Yeah. No, it, yeah, it fell backwards, so that gave us an extra hour. Oh, all that stuff is loose on there. Try to tighten it up. Right. Do we need to put that ground? I already did. This other one, you want it on the. No, I'm not going to use that okay. one. You got a 13 over there? I just seen them. Yep. Could have been a one hour video if we weren't looking for tools. <laughs> That's the thing about tools. If you're working with them, you're going to set them down and they're going to, they're going to wander off somewhere every time. Um, you got yours? Got mine. All right. So guys, we've got 659 people on here watching us. We finally got this other motor bolted up. We had to switch out the uh, flywheel and use the clutch and everything from the original motor that was on here. When I say original, the, the last motor that was on here. We've got it all put together now, starter hooked up. I'm gonna grab a battery and uh, see if any of this wiring works, see if the starter works. Distributor first. Uh, now I just wanna see if we can turn okay. it over. So I just wanna get it turned over, dump the oil out, put some oil in it, let it you know pump all that oil everywhere. Then we was missing a distributor. So we're gonna grab a different distributor and put in it. And I'm gonna quit talking and start working, but that's where we're at right now. If I can find a battery. I wouldn't. There's one right there on the table. Thank you, Josh, for the donation. He's, are you keeping it a flat deck and finishing it? So, uh, Josh, so the plan is right now, uh, if this motor will crank up and run, yeah, we'll probably throw some wood, some, uh, some wood up here, like a wood plank floor. And then I'm just going to kind of do a real quick clean up on the car make it where, you know, get good tires and stuff like that on it. We're not going to invest a whole lot into this car uh, because I don't know what someone would really want this car for. Being that it's a bubble top, someone might just want to scratch everything that we're working on it with right now. In my opinion, it would be really cool to restore it back, you know, to like the original style. But this already has so much that's been altered on it. It would be cool and it would definitely grab a lot of attention. It's not like any other IZ around. So, yeah, that's what we're going to try to do is put some wood on here clean it up a little bit, get some good air in the tires, and uh, send her on down the road, hopefully. Uh, damn, look. So, cause it ain't real long. I'll let you connect the negative and see first what we got. Okay. No sparky, so. You're good, or that can be so bad. this is if this is you know if they were right. Well, I don't know. I guess all the, I guess that would be twelve volt. I think they were saying this was a six volt system. So, right. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna look and see in here what we've got. Move this cord around. So they can. Um. Or you could probably just switch it to the side angle. Okay. Not really. So anyways, we it's going to be hard for us to move cameras around on this. So I'm just trying out, if y'all can see me. Hi. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try out the ignition switch. It's pretty mangled up here. Oh, and well, it works. <laughs> it's in gear, I think. I didn't even ask if you were clear, huh? I think, I think it's in gear. I thought I seen this. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 uh, will it turn over now? At least we had it on jack stands. Will the uh, wheel turn over? Make sure it's in neutral. Yeah. I, was gonna say, I thought I seen it jerk there. All right. I'm going to try it again. Christian, you could probably turn it to the back view. Okay. So here we go. We're going to try it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds a lot better than that last one, dude. <laughs> it sure does. All right. It so. almost cranked. Yeah, <laughs> I heard it. All right, guys, she's going to switch this camera angle real quick. I'm getting a little excited now. Uh, we have five minutes. I'm going to go further. So we're going to try to get this thing going as long as we don't run into any major complications. I need to get the oil drained out of here, put some new oil in it, and then we'll go from there. I'm going to try to quit talking and get working. I'm going to lower this down, get this out of the way.
You know what we did with that oil pan? It's over there next to the wall. I don't remember okay. what size it was. Uh, All that stuff that might want to burn. I remember it was pretty big. Yeah. I might try to move that camera so they can see. Uh, you want me to do it? Uh, this that, that one? Okay. Be kind of cool to let them see what this all looks like coming out of here. There's one. Got it? Just watch that cord. Oh, I finally get to lay down. Hey, nap time. <laughs> no, it's not the right size. You want me to get a flashlight? Yeah. <laughs> I had a, wire, a battery powered one somewhere. Oh, here it is. We'll get better at this, guys. I promise. Uh, we'll try. <laughs> we I don't know which part we need to get better at, though. Getting done. I'm not finding what I need. Finding tools might be the <laughs> our biggest letdown. I think it's a 21 or a 20. Yeah. Find a 22. It's too big, but I don't see a 20 or 21. May have to go to the other pile. <laughs> I've got something to work, Lance. Got it. Yep. That camera should be good, Christian. You ready? See what this oil looks like. Make sure we hit the pan. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. That looks better than clear oil. <laughs> clear oil? Yeah, still got plenty of good in it. Got good taste to it? Got a good taste to it. What's that Texas oil? I don't know about that. <laughs> Uh, gave a donation. He said, adjust valves to 0 0.06 inches. <laughs> Make sure the points are... Oh, this is a bunch of technical stuff. <laughs> I read this. I don't... No, you gotta learn. You gotta learn. That's it's like 0 0.16 inch gap and really clean. Well, there's a lot of oil in there, wasn't uh, it? Yeah. 628 carbs rebuild are bulletproof and make sure heat rises are clogged. She'll be good to go. Yep. I butchered that so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> now do what he said. <laughs> I think we're going to try a bare minimum to, to get her to run here. But yeah, then later on we can come back if we need to. and uh, Put some put some antifreeze in it and grab it. I'm going to go grab that. Uh, so Christian, you can switch it to the back angle, I guess. <clears throat> I'm going to go grab that distributor that I was uh, talking about that we need to put in here. So obviously this one's gone. We had another one around the shop. So it was from a pretty early motor like this as well. Hopefully it won't be no issues that we don't know about. Uh, we'll put some more oil in here, turn okay, it well, over. I'll get, go get it while you're entertaining. Okay, we'll go ahead and get everything on top dead center to put that distributor in and uh, make sure everything's right on that. And then hopefully we're getting fire. I don't know about this old cool here. We may have to, yeah, that old cool is not not going to work, I don't think. So we may try to find a different cool as well. Uh, but right now, I'm going to put that plug back in there, put some oil in it, turn it over again. All righty. I will, you set it somewhere where it's not on the dirt. <laughs> try to move it in. Somewhere not on the dirt. I'm going to set it out in the front yard. There's more dirt in here than there is out there. Try this. <laughs> it's kind of scary, huh? 
Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to move that wire. You can go ahead, Dad. I'm just trying to set up the camera. Ugh. Well, you already got to make sure everything's Yeah, in. I'm just sitting right there because that gives me a good place to put it. I didn't have you jumped else. the gun on me. <laughs> like I said, I just need to get this oil off my hands and stuff, so I was just going to put it somewhere I knew it wasn't in the dirt. I don't know. Maybe it should be on the ground because that's pretty similar to the back angle, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, okay. If you want, I can move, okay. move it while you... So she's going to move it while we work, so... <laughs> We're still draining a little bit of oil. Then come unsnapped. That should be fine, though, Dad. Yeah. I'm pull this back out. Oh, man. Drop it. I dropped it. L Luckily, that hole wasn't big enough for it to go in because it fell right down in that hole. Probably want it right here, Christian, like right. a close setup there. What are the odds of dropping the boat right into the oil, right down into the hole that lets it drain into the bottom? Almost couldn't have landed anywhere else. That's just the way things go. We'll be up here. Oops. Oops. So, yeah, I'll be working right in this area. You got the back in there? It's back in there. Okay, I'm going to grab some oil. <laughs> Boy, if it if it runs off cobwebs, it'll run forever. The bottom side of it is just covered with spider condos. Ah, uh, we we're two two minutes over our. That clock's wrong. <laughs> they said that you need to uh, set your clock back. Yeah, we're we're going by California time. Gives us another two hours. Uh, let me say that right. This kind of gets weird. Get you a cleaner one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you just cleaned it out with dirt. Yeah, I didn't know how dirty that rag was. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well just rub it on the ground. Yeah. Take a handful of dirt and pour in there with it. All right. First drink in who knows how long. It's almost what the oil looked like coming out of that other motor. I wish. <laughs> that was lighter like that. Yeah. So when you say bare minimum, are we going to pull the plugs out? And are we just going to Yeah, we're going to, we'll probably, we'll have to pull at least this number one to, uh, you know, figure out top dead center. Make sure we're on the right, you know, round of it. Right. And I highly doubt those things are ever going to spark without cleaning them anyways. Yeah, at this point, we're going to have to, like, multitask. Yeah. Chew gum and talk at the same time. You sure you put the plug back in it? <laughs> I can't get nothing to show up on the stick. There we go. Apostle uh, Ministries International, thank you for your donation. They said, hang in there. Times have been tough, yet we're fine. You are close to victory. Keep the faith and the faith the sword. Appreciate that. I feel like I've seen, uh, I feel like he's been in our live chats before. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure, yes. Christian, this is something you could do. Okay. I could be. You want to? Yeah. Go ahead. Of Oh, actually, the plugs ain't bad. Ain't bad at all, huh? All you got to do, Christian, is pour a little oil in there, and then and then check it down here with this. Okay. So oil there, a little bit. Check it. I'll tell you There's, when. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little mark on it. All I got was oil. That's all. So put the oil in there, and then you'll check it down here in the dip in the okay. dipstick. Pull it out. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. Tell me when. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Like baking a cake. I don't know how much you pour in here. Uh, let me know. I'll let you know. 
You're doing just fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can check it. You can check it. Do you have the, uh, are they the bigger ones? Or the yeah, I, I've got them. You already got them? Uh, yeah, I'll get them. Now wipe it off. Or wait. So like wipe it off? Uh -huh. Or look right there. See? Uh -huh. See those little marks? It needs to be to that one. Oh, goodness. That needs to be four more. Yep. Well, you got to put it back in and check it again just to okay. be sure. I'm smarter than I look. I don't look real smart. <laughs> I'm not as dumb as I look. That's all, all I heard. Out here. Now, if it happens to be five lines above that, we're yeah. a problem, right? There's a, there's a drain plug. Huh? A little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, they all, all four plugs look really good. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'll go over them a little bit, but there's not. There's not any, anything really bad on them. Yep, just a little bit more and we'll call that good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, her camera. Yep. It's still on, though. Oh, yeah, it's still on. We left Christian over there by herself. <laughs> <laughs> that should be good. I am trying to find. Thank you. I cannot find a wire brush for nothing. <clears throat> That's what pants were designed for. The Christian, three... you can switch it to this back angle here. I'll kind of explain what I'm going to do. Okay. That went dead then. Uh, well, I think it keeps on plugging. Oh, no. Okay. Probably so. I'll go ahead and talk to him. You can go ahead and do it. So while she's uh, a little bit in the way, no. Uh, while she's changing the battery on this on this angle here, that's going to be a little bit closer. What I'm doing is I'm just going to. This pulley here has uh, has some little notches to let you know where top dead center is. Uh, now there's two different you know two different times it'll land on those notches. Uh, that'll be one will be where you need to be and one won't be. So now that we've got these plugs out here, I'm just going to put this uh, screwdriver down in this number one, which is actually back here, and that's I've landed on the right cylinder because it's at the very top there. So as I turn this, that cylinder, I'll be able to feel that screwdriver going up and down like that. So we've landed on the number one uh, top dead center on this round. So I'll just be able to pop that distributor in there now and it should be uh, in timing the way we need it to be. You already got a switch? Yep, That's quick. I'm telling you, we need to pay her by the hour because she works too fast. Am I in the way of this one? Uh, of the one I just put up? Yeah. No. Kind of hard for him to say, but we'll we'll go. We'll try. It. We'll try. It. Hold it? It's up to you. Yeah, I'll hold it. Okay. She's gonna hold the camera and kind of show you guys what we're doing here. So as you can tell right here, it's just got to, you know, it'll only go in there one way with that right there. Uh, but this would turn a different direction. So I should be able to just slide this. Let's see. Down in there. I believe that should be it. Yeah. So now as it's, well... Maybe they go away. Oh, 
Well, we, so we may have a little bit of a different problem here. There we go. I don't know why it's hitting that spot and not turning. So yeah, we've got some kind of an issue here. Because see, I'm turning this. This should be spinning. Uh, I don't know our fly, our distributor may not be long enough. It's the only thing I can figure, which does not surprise me. Let's see. There it goes. Well, that's what it did last time, but I guess that's it. Yeah. Let me make sure that I've got everything right. Okay. So yeah, we're going to try that out and see how it works. I don't know what size that little... It's a 10. I had a wrench over here a while ago I was going to give you. And... Do we want to try this cool? Or... Uh, it's up to you. Uh, do we? Well, I don't know that we have an extra one. Oh, well, that right. one had a weird looking cool on it, huh? Right. Uh, yeah, because it had a uh, bolt coming out the bottom end of it. It had a wire hook to it. I don't know. Thank you, Addison, for the donation. I'll leave that somewhat loose so we can still move it around. See, it's doing it again. Something's not quite right with that distributor. Anyone know on these if the distributors are a certain difference in them? It looks like it could go down just to, there, there it is. That's what it was. It wasn't all the way in there. Never mind, unless it happens again. All right, we got oil in it. Dipstick she got back in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over, make sure. Okay, I don't have any plugs in, so. It's okay. Gonna, should spin really easy. See if it blows out anything. Ready? Just a sec. I just don't want it to do it. Suck in, in suck stuff? In. Yeah. yeah, okay. Is the other side okay, you think? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Is the distributor turning? Yes. It yeah? Yep. Not now. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just try this cool because it's right there, I guess. So I can see which side is the positive and the negative. There's a lot. I wish we had another cool. Uh, you think it'd be hard to grab that one off that tractor thing out there? I can go see real quick. Because if this if this happens to be a six, six bolt, bolt, yeah, that's what somebody had commented something about a six bolt on the. I'll try to okay. play with this while you're doing that. Okay. Uh, Step one. I've grabbed the minimum tools. I think I might need. We should have a cool around here somewhere, but I don't. Probably don't. We probably used it last. Well, he's he's going to look to see if we have another cool we could possibly use. I'm going to try, I'm going to try this one out just for the fun of it. See if we're getting spark at the points here. We'll run a temporary wire to our uh, battery. Did you get scared? No, I attempted to say, well, he's got a little hair parking great. <laughs> I thought I'm not scared too much. Well, I wouldn't mind if you went ahead and tear apart these brakes. There ain't none right now. There's nothing you can mess up.
All right. So I'm going to see if this will try to spark when I touch it here. Nothing. Uh, I may have to wait until he gets... Or Christian, I could probably have you check. So I'm going to put this uh, wire here. Mm -hmm. And I need you to look right here inside this thing and see if it's sparking. So yeah, you're going to be looking in this area right here. Mm -hmm. These are the points. They'll be open and closing. We're looking for a spark in between there. Here we go. Nothing? Okay. Probably got a bad cool. I should be sparking some. Okay, that's what he's getting. He's grabbing a different okay. different part for us. Oh, no, it should it's be sparking. sparking. It's sparking there. So, so see that thing right there? Mm -hmm. It'll open and close, and there'll be a little spark coming. I might have to clean them. <laughs> Nothing, huh? Oh, I see them. I thought I could see. I thought I could see them on the TV there. No? no, you're looking hey, right here. Crank it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> She's gonna try it out, and I'm gonna watch. Right. Go ahead. Yeah, they're sparking. Right. You were at a weird angle, I think. Okay. So you can do it again just to make sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're sparking. <laughs> Sorry for making y'all sick with this camera angle. I didn't know that light was down there where it could have. Okay, so I'm going to end up having this thing running before Dad gets back in here. Hopefully. Make a bed on it. <laughs> nah, I ain't doing that. Then nothing will go right. Okay. So I'm going to put the spark plugs back in it if I can find where he put them. No telling. Oh. There they are. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close to... We're getting spark. I heard him slam something down outside. So something fell on him or he got mad or something. <laughs> Did you hear it crank up? Do what? Did you hear it crank up? I heard, heard a couple booms. Did you mute your mic? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go home. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting spark at the points. Oh, yeah? So I wasted my time out there. <laughs> well, no. I did find one. I took the minimum tools if and it you, took... If you wouldn't have went tools. after one, we'd have still been. But now that we have one in here, it'll probably... Well, neither one of them will work. The good news is we have one now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what was it? Always over something. Me? I didn't fall over it. I tripped, kicked it. Uh, is that ratchet over there? No. So we're getting, like I said, getting the spark at the points. We're going to go ahead and. No, I just, I heard something go, and then boom, I was like. You heard a boom? I thought I did. Huh. Did I not hear a boom? I didn't hear a boom. I heard a boom heard outside. A boom. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know what it was. Mom said, why it's probably outside taking a break. 
Right, this is pretty embarrassing how bad I cannot keep up with stuff. I'm trying to, oh, there it is. I'm trying to find this distributor here. Maybe I'm the one that needs glasses. No. <laughs> it's just. Yeah, you need glasses. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything good to say, so I just. Okay. I got two plugs, plug wires here. I think this is number one. So I can't remember. I know there's someone on here that knows the firing order on the Volkswagen. Oh, somebody said that earlier. Uh, earlier. Four plugs. Uh, the fire. One, four, three, two. So four. These plug wires are kind of a joke. Yeah. I guess it really doesn't matter how they go up there right now, huh? No. Try to feed I'm going to blow out that carburetor the best I can. Actually, it doesn't look terrible. <laughs> I don't want to have to hook that air hose up and blow out the audio. Okay, that's going to be number one. Is I it think. the back one? It's the back one. Okay. Well, it should be one. I can get it. Or front one, I guess. I, I don't yeah. want to stay on it. Don't. Uh -uh. I don't know if we got any more wires. <laughs> oh, man. That one don't. Yeah, that one's got some wires. You need, a, you need another wire? I may have to because. I don't know if these are long enough. All right. We're going to try to, we're just trying to hurry. We're at the 20 minutes after our deadline here. So we'll see what it does once we. Oh, I'm just going to run that right there. We'll will it not later. work or what? Like, are you going to use a different wire? Uh, yeah, on this one I will. Okay. I can't get that. Well, no wonder why. It doesn't even have the right end on it. Does it have the spark plug thing? Yeah, it doesn't have that. Well, I don't know if these ones do. Well, that one went on good. Oh, yeah. These are all, they've got the wrong. Yeah. I have to switch them all. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, there's two good things we've used off this motor, I guess. Maybe. So you got a close one over there. I'm going to need a decent length one over here for yeah, the front one. Probably that. Says, my wife's saying that you're gonna That's knock right. that oil over, so I'm gonna go grab it. <laughs> Dad's liable to kick it over. This is number one, right? Yep. Okay. We'll that in there. This one ain't gonna make it, so if you've got one that's a little longer. Well, I mean, I think that's the longest one I got. Same thing. I just don't think it's going to make it because by the time I... What's weird though is those come off the same, you know, they should be the same distance as that motor right there. Unless it's because of the way you're running it away. And this one here is long. You can use it. it. They don't have the right... Inside, it won't hurt this one, man. That one ain't either. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Yep. I just need one more on my side. Let me give you this one then. That one make it? Uh, trying to remember what they said was one four. One four So I'm just running these around. I'm not really getting Where's my phone? careful about where, where they're going. I can reroute them here in a minute. Greg D said that should be good for 200,000 more dollars. <laughs> I don't know if it'll go two feet, but 
Hey. Well, let's see. Hey, if y'all are building it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Almost 2,000 people. Let's see. Uh, yep, I cannot get that wire to turn loose. Is that an old wire? It's an old wire. Just leave it for now. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's put a little gas in it. Let's just jump the gun and put gas in it. Gas or you want me to spray? Gas. And then we'll try to keep it running if we can. Is that enough in it? Yeah. Yeah. Probably need more. Is that all the gas we got? Uh, all we got right here. I don't know. Maybe all we have. Good. We're going to try it out. See what it does. Maybe diesel. We may have a diesel engine here. I don't know. Ready? Yep. <laughs> it's going to crank. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's so close. You need some more stuff or is that good? We're good. Ah! Pepper in me. Little back angle. That was pretty good. Did it hit you? <laughs> yeah! We did it! It didn't even really smoke. It uh -uh. just blew out. I mean, it's full of dirt and <laughs> dust in here. Just think, if I wouldn't have put that oil in there. <laughs> <laughs> you put the perfect amount of oil in here. Guys, we all got this running together tonight. Oh. Dad's pouring gas all over it. Now it's empty. <laughs> That's what happened. We ran out of gas. Uh, I want to really see if this thing will go. I thought it was in gear. This here was spinning at first. Really? Yeah. It might still be then. This, the it spun at first and then it quit. So it, it may not have been. It may have just. The shifter is really, really bad. Thank you, Michelle Bacon, for the sticker. You want to switch it to the side angle real quick? Yeah. So we got, uh, we've got 2,023 people at shows working on here. We wanted to shut this off at two hours and we've, we've went almost 30 minutes over, but we we cranked her up. So she does run. And the story that we were told on it is pretty accurate. It sounds pretty good. I mean, that other motor, we had, it had no chance of it. I mean, it, it, it was going to need a lot more money invested into it. And this was a freebie we had just sitting in the shop that we were, didn't know what we were going to do with. So we had to switch out the flywheel on it and the clutch and put a distributor in it. Uh, it was getting fire pretty easy on that. Got everything in timing, it seems like. Um, I mean, honestly, yeah, we definitely need spark plug wires. <laughs> we need, you know, points and condenser and the whole nine, whole yards, nine yards. Yeah, uh, needs that. But uh, we're going to crank it up again for all y'all people to celebrate with us that have hung out maybe for 30 minutes, maybe for the whole two and a half hours, whatever it may be. Uh, we're going to give her one more victory crank, and then I'm going to try to see it in gear, and we're going to call this a video. So thanks, guys. I'm gonna jack it up a little bit more to get this uh, okay. this wheel off the ground, and I'm gonna try to put it in gear. See and if our clutch works. We go. Don't make a mess. This wheel here is just slightly touching the ground still, so we're gonna jack it up a little bit, come up a couple notches on our Harbor Freight <laughs> <laughs> jack stands. See if she goes in gear, and then maybe one of these days y'all see her actually moving down the road. Can you tell? I think so far, if I don't think they're in a good spot. Oh, yeah, you're right on the old pan. <laughs> it should work. Oh. 
this wheel. It's just somewhat locked up though. Uh, this should be good. Let me raise that one. Just set it up from there. One more. Yeah. Purple Try 14 that. says, I'm jumping around the room literally. <laughs> Thank y'all for hanging out. This was fun. It could have been a disaster, but... <laughs> could have been a worse disaster. Yeah, I guess it still kind of was. A nah, story. anything that you get going is, is, a, is a blessing. So. I don't know. This one, this one right here, it's kind of locked up, but... Yep. I'm going to try to just... Drive. You may want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. So, I'll let you crank it. No, try to put it in gear here. Oh, because <laughs> you're waiting on me. Huh? Yeah, it's turning. I this one over here spinning. So oh, y'all can't see it, but the other side, the other side's spinning. So we apparently are in somewhat of a gear. Huh? Yeah, we'll go ahead and do it again to show them. Oh yeah, I think our linkage is all messed up, and we we are in, <laughs> in a gear in some somewhat. Kind of gear. So yeah, that means that she'll probably she'll probably move. Go. We're gonna have to get that brake unlocked a little bit. Well, guys, thanks for continuing to hang out with us on this. Uh, went a little longer than what we expected, and. We're sorry about that. Uh, probably if we weren't talking so much and moving cameras around, uh, it might have worked out a little better if we were a little bit more knowledgeable on some of this stuff. Yeah. But uh, we're learning with y'all, so thanks we're, for hanging out. And yeah, we're going to continue to try to get the camera stuff figured out so there's not so much moving around on that. And yeah, so we'll probably end up having cameras that are just, uh, I mean, obviously we've got three cameras we're using. We may just try to set up a few more. They give you better angles and and stuff like that. And, and like I said, it's just one of those things we're just learning as we go. So, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Chris McKay says, makes me want to order a t-shirt and have them wiping on the engine before sending it. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, so I don't, I, I, we are going to wrap this up, but obviously we got this running. I know that all of y'all would probably love to see her going down the road. That's just not going to happen tonight for us. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could, <laughs> we could, but uh, we've, we've all got families that we need to try to spend some time with, but thank y'all for hanging out and we will, uh, we will do a video, whether it be live or just a, you know, a, a pre-recorded video of this going down the road uh, before we turn loose of her. So do you want to mention anything about Omaze? <clears throat> yeah. So if you guys haven't um, caught our previous uh, last episode with Wanda, the Honda, Willy Wanda, um, go and check it out. We've recently partnered up with a company called Amaze, and they're uh, offering up a chance to win a 1973 International Scout as well as $20,000. So this offer ends November the 19th. So if y'all are interested, there's a link in our description where you can go on there and, uh, and enter to, uh, for a chance of winning. And then all of the uh, proceeds go to benefit uh, Children's Hospital as well, Cancer Hospital. So all of it goes to a great cause as well. So if y'all are interested in anything like that, uh, definitely goes towards a good cause. And they've helped us a lot with this channel here. So uh, it means a lot for y'all support in any way that y'all do it. And even if it's just a, you know, uh, just a comment or just hanging out, no comment, whatever, uh, buying merch, uh, whatever you guys do, uh, it helps us to continue with this. So and for uh, some of y'all that don't want to have to go down to there and read, it's omaze.com slash restored. Yep. So. I'm, I'm bad about having to go down and read the down below. So I usually just. So Nighthawk said, where can I get a shirt? So we have merch on www.berestored.com. And there's a dash between. Uh, yeah. So she'll add it up right mm -hmm. there. Uh, Berestored.com. 
So uh, I hope that y'all like this live feed. I hope that uh, everything worked cool with the comments adding up there and y'all donating and suggesting us stuff. It helped us. I mean, we would have probably never changed out that flywheel on that. We'd have just kept fighting it and, uh, and never would have got it. And then the starter wouldn't have worked on it or anything like that. So thank all of y'all for the support. We want to continue doing these if y'all are interested in doing them. So, you know, uh, We'd love to hear from you in the comments after this video. If you're watching this after the live stream, we'd love to hear from you what you think about it. And uh, we'll just keep pursuing the channel from there. So thank you all so much. You got anything to say? Uh, just if they have any suggestions, you know, just just pitch them out there. We're, we're open to suggestions right now. We're, we're just growing and and whatever y'all have that y'all might want us to do, we're, we're open to trying some things. So, And I know Christian, she's, she's chomping at the bits about that ranchero. So... Uh, She's, she's like, they keep asking me about the ranchero. And I said, that's because you keep telling them. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we're going to get her on, get her on the, the camera here. And I mean, on the, the work and let me run the camera, I guess. Hopefully they'll let me uh, work on it soon. And I'll work on a few other stuff too. I'm looking at. The yeah, camera. we can try. <laughs> we can try to incorporate her in some live streams too. And, uh, and we, we just won't have as many camera angle changes and stuff like that. Or she can work in between like she did. It seemed to, it was fun. We're, uh, we're going to figure it out all together. So. And yes, the arcades work in the background. Somebody so, needs to. So we're going to try to shut this down. So maybe, <laughs> so maybe YouTube will suggest it uh, a little more, uh, being a long video. I don't know how well that'll work, but if y'all uh, would appreciate it, if y'all would share it, comment, whatever, uh, like it. Uh, we, we sure appreciate it. So with that being said, I don't guess I have anything else to say. Thank y'all for hanging out. Uh, y'all have a good night, good weekend. God bless y'all and, uh, keep the faith. Keep you. Yep. See you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>